Today we return to Raiders of the North Sea, and I'm going to teach you how to beat Fill the Treasury here today on Legendary Tactics. Now this is a neat mission. Um, gold is the name of the game uh, in this uh, particular uh, campaign mission, uh, number four. And uh, you can't gain gold at the mill or the treasury, but most importantly, there's a special offering at the longhouse where you can trade four gold for um, 16 victory points. And that's uh, gonna be a key focus of this game uh, in order to win it. It's actually a pretty good challenge, uh, I found. Uh, um, in general. Um, now I'm going uh, to actually get rid of the cartographer, uh, which pay where you pay one less golden rating of fortress. And I thought the warmonger was kind of the least valuable uh, based on um, the goals that I have. Well, I had a second one as well. <laughs> so that, that was an easy choice perhaps. But, um, but my first goal here is to take the forager. Um, I think she's awesome in that she gets you more provisions and uh, this is going to be once your crew is set up and you've got the the things you need you're going to want to raid as often as possible um, and so that's going to be uh, very key the provisions are very key for that um, so the early part of the game it's a little bit of a balancing act you have to get some uh, some money you have to get some provisions and you have to get your crew um, in hit first drawn and then uh, put into play and uh, so it's a, a, a bit of a race to get to the first uh, raid uh, we you want to try and steal as much gold and resources in general uh, without uh, the Valkyries and I mean normally that's a priority in this game but in this particular scenario um, it is uh, actually pretty crucial because you need to get as much gold as you can that is uh, you know going to essentially get you the win if you can uh, outpace the gold so again my goal get as much uh, going in terms of uh, get my crew in place as quickly as possible um, and uh, just so we can start raiding as soon as possible and as often as possible and in many cases stealing um, the gold away from uh, uh, you know from uh, the uh, opponents before they can get them so I'm just gonna steal a couple couple silver there um, might as well um, I didn't really have a great uh, move to uh, <laughs> to go from there so I thought well why not um, and uh, yeah so we're just uh, playing this uh, the first phase which is again a little bit tense because you're just hoping that the opponent doesn't raid before you can get there um, but uh, um, but otherwise I, I felt uh, I was doing the best I could with with what I had uh, loading up on lots of uh, silver and uh, looking to hire as many crew members as I can um, and make it as cheap as possible, obviously. And that's what that hire was all about. And uh, again, uh, provisions, loading up the crew. I'm, I'm not so worried about uh, the victory points from the actual rating because I know if I get enough gold, it won't really matter. 16 victory points is a heck of a lot um, and generally far more than you can get from any sort of rating. Uh, at least until you get to the the uh, the higher levels um, so we got a bit of a discount here which is great um, and uh, even get uh, the warmonger is pretty cool but I'm gonna go with uh, with this guy here mainly for the combat value so it only takes us up to a five which isn't uh, which isn't amazing not that I, as I said not that I'm super worried about combat strength but hey if you can uh, if you can get some combat strength uh, as part of the bargain then that is uh, uh, that's great um, now uh, Bjorn uh, decided to um, do some hiring and uh, so forth which is great so I have three crew members I have four provisions so I'm, I am eyeing the, uh, the the different options here now um, there is two gold uh, on the one harbor, but it does come at a pretty heavy cost with two Valkyries. So I'm just going to go for the uh, um, for the one that gives me the most um, iron. Uh, I just find it more flexible. The, the cattle are great for victory points, but the, uh, you know it's not as 
not as useful in general otherwise so and uh, so we're gonna get some some raiding here there's really no way to uh, you know to steal more gold <laughs> there than uh, uh, it's gonna be a pretty balanced situation I think after the first little bit because um, you know, every every faction should more or less hit the the rating uh, level uh, around the same time, and I'm not sure exactly why Bjorn uh, didn't rate. Well, probably just a lack of provisions, um, and so I'm gonna really load up on provisions now. So this is uh, this is great. Get as many as they can. Um, I didn't have enough silver really to hire <laughs> anyone, so I'm I'm uh, looking at my options here probably the gatehouse is going to be the only uh, option here just get to get more crew members in hand and there we go so that uh, that gives uh, well not amazing options let's be honest I'm gonna have to get a bit more silver um, I've got the provisions I need but um, I need a little more silver before I can uh, start raiding and and I need the right totem as well, so which is the totem sitting on the armory, which is not exactly where I'd want to be, but um, we'll just take this um, this harbor here, get an extra gold, um, get an iron, get a couple of couple more cattle that can be hopefully traded for victory points at some uh, stage, and uh, so that's good. We're um, I think we've got things well in hand um, now. The AI surprised me a little bit in that they were ready to go uh, to raid the next uh, stage and uh, take some gold. So that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, Bjorn, uh, again, not too worried at this point. Uh, I don't know what they've been doing with their time. They don't have much gold, don't have much <laughs> provisions, but um, anyway, <laughs> that's fine. We'll see how whether they come into a fact as a factor later. So again, loading up on provisions. This is exactly uh, the kind of uh, situation where I want to be, where I can just raid, raid, raid. And again, I'm looking to get the gold. There is one. Um, uh, there is one, uh, one or two targets there that I think could be good, but I need to grab the uh, the, the silver totem in order to do that. Um, and I was kind of eyeing out, do I maybe hire the merchant, the warmonger, you know, beef up my crew, but I, I really can only hire the merchant. I just didn't feel like it was what I needed. Um, so I decided to put off my raid for a bit longer um, here. And uh, you can really see me thinking, but in the end, I'm like, okay, let's, let's load out some crew um, and uh, then we can, uh, perhaps uh, uh, get a bit more strength maybe not necessarily to get more victory points for uh, from the rating but if I do need to take a hit with a Valkyrie I think it would be handy to have uh, an extra crew there um, potentially so I'm you know give myself lots of choices there um, unfortunately as I <laughs> I'm not able to really raid anything very effectively there's a gold there uh, the one harbor but again the Valkyrie is a big uh, decision there um, so I decide to um, take this one here and uh, load up on some silver I did have to get rid of my recruiter um, but I'm uh, I'm thinking of uh, beefing up uh, the armory there's also um, potential victory uh, victory points as well uh, that can be bought with that uh, iron and unfortunately because I didn't have the right totem I lost out to uh, my AI opponent here um, on that particular juicy spot now I have the right totem I don't have enough crew members though so I'm gonna have to um, this is going to be a pretty uh, obvious choice, I think, in that I'm going to have to get some silver and draw from the barracks and uh, get some, um, there we go, get some silver, now draw from the barracks. I don't get the discount anymore, um, but I'm looking at the Berserker. Um, again, combat value, and if killed in a raid, comes right back to hand. That is a pretty compelling uh, hire right there. So. 
Um, gets my combat strength up to uh, up to eight, um, which isn't uh, which is okay. Um, but I'm also eyeing up the armory as well. I've got a fair bit of iron uh, left over that could be used to uh, uh, beef up my uh, my combat strength. Now, I am also seeing some raiding going on for that gold, and I'm really a bit concerned that uh, I'm going to lose out on some of this. Um, at least the Valkyrie slows down my opponent a little bit. But I'm going to have to keep uh, keep hiring here um, and see what I can uh, get. So I'm going to load up on provisions again and get some more silver. I need to get one more crew member at least here to really max out. I had a, a game... Uh, I took the, a, f a few tries to actually beat this one. And my opponent did something really great where... Um, me, my AI opponent loaded up with it, kind of, it may have been uh, Bjorn actually loaded up with a lot of crew, ma crew and just started doing really well in the raiding and uh, taking gold as well um, being able to absorb hits from the Valkyries it was actually a really compelling uh, play style um, actually so now the question is how do I get to where I, I really want to go here? Um, so I'm going to boost my um, my uh, st uh, combat strength at the armory, and I'm going to take some more silver. I need to um, again hire, and uh, without that discount, um, that's going to be tricky. Now I'm thinking, oh great, if I can make take advantage of that. Uh, white totem at the barracks that is going to be very very useful for me now um, this raid uh, again on uh, Bjorn's part was uh, was good uh, got some gold um, but at four victory points um, but again the Valkyrie I think may have been a pretty costly uh, decision there um, you know, but, uh, you know, at, at the moment, uh, I can't really say much because I'm at three victory points and my opponents uh, are quite a bit ahead. But I'm grabbing my my white totem there. I'm going to be able to hire a, a scout. And a, I think a scout uh, is is good. Well, I actually ended up going with the warmonger, but um, I think the scout is also good in this um, mission, especially if there is any gold at the monasteries. Now you kind of have to look at the board state, but any again saving the uh, provisions. I went with the forager to get to get as many provisions as possible, but uh, but whatever saves you provisions and allows you to raid more often is uh, going to be really good. And I was really concerned about making sure that I can raid repeatedly, uh, preferably. I mean, it'd be great if we could do two twice in a row here, because um, I have not amassed that much gold yet. And so I need to really scan around and see what I can what I can grab. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have enough crewmates to grab that other one, so I just went for an easy uh, target here. Uh, only one gold, unfortunately, but uh, we did snag five victory points. Um, we're still losing, but at least it was uh, respectable. And. Uh, uh, Aegir is definitely uh, feels like it's even though Bjorn's ahead, Aegir seems to make better moves. I don't know uh, why that is, but uh, anyway, there was a, had to take a hit from the Valkyrie though. That was the only uh, tough part there. But uh, yeah, essentially the the two AIs are neck and neck. <clears throat> and um, if you look at my provisions though, I have five in hand, ready to go again. And uh, I've got my white totem, so I can, uh, again, go to um, raid if I want to. Now, I'm actually going to beef up uh, and grab that uh, um, that guy there. And that is going to allow me to steal that two gold space. Now, I need to uh, get a white totem so you can see I'm eyeing up the town hall abilities uh, to see which one might be useful. And because uh, that's the, I want to grab the other white uh, totem. So I'm going to use the, the action as though I was there. And uh, I'm going to uh, look to... I was, well, I was curious as to which ones might be the best uh, here. But um, in the end, 
I decided, yeah, let's get some, some armor. Um, boost my combat strength up to a, a respectable 17, actually. We're in pretty decent shape uh, that way. May not get the top uh, the top victory point awards, but again, with, where gold is the, the main thing that matters, that's uh, what I'm after. Now, unfortunately, as this, this is what I said uh, earlier, I think uh, that's my real opponent, even though Bjorn had been ahead for a lot of time. Bjorn has no gold, no provisions, and is kind of scrambling a bit now, I think, um, just in terms of getting out there again to, to raid. So... Um, so I'm looking to steal that uh, um, that spot with the two gold, and uh, that's going to be an easy easy pick. And uh, it's going to be tough to get a lot of victory points on this one. I just missed, unfortunately, getting eight. That would have been great, uh, but I did get my four gold, which is perfect. That's uh, or, uh, sorry, I did get to the point where I, I have five gold, but I wanted to get to the four gold level if you know what I mean, so. Um, and uh, my provisions are a bit low, um, but with a forager, um, it, it's not too hard to rebuild that. And uh, so um, just kind of scanning around, there's really only one other spot with, where there's any gold um, in the far reaches of the kingdom here. So, um, I just didn't have the provisions right away so I needed to kind of figure this out and figure out where on earth I could get that I'm gonna take the 16 victory points from the, my four gold and grab some more provisions and I won't be able to raid next turn um, and grab that final gold there but I'll see what I can do to um, I'll see what I can do to uh, get the uh, uh, you know the, the um, raid going as soon as I can now um, yeah so this is uh, kind of an interesting uh, situation there's another uh, raid going on now no gold on this one there is a Valkyrie yeah I, th I thought it was, I mean maybe it was the only move possible uh, but I uh, didn't think it was maybe the best move although losing the grave diggers uh, okay at least you, you get some benefit from that and now I'm looking for white totems. I'm looking for the last gold on the board, and I'm not able to to uh, get there with a with a gray totem, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to um, look at um, grabbing one of the white totems, either from the barracks or from the provision stash. So um, I think in this case, uh, it doesn't really matter. In this case, uh, we'll just take some silver and grab uh, the extra provisions we are fully loaded it with seven um, so we're in pretty decent shape uh, if that uh, harbor is still available um, even though there's a valkyrie there i think it would be uh, a good uh, future target um, if it doesn't get uh, taken first um, but there's really there's not a lot of gold on the board to be uh, <laughs> to 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 get um, it'd be nice if uh, I could grab uh, uh, another uh, bunch of gold, but I'm going to have to really um, be careful here because there's really, you know, not a lot of gold left uh, available. And uh, so I'm going to grab this one and uh, scoop up another seven victory points into the bargain. And man, we've got a lot of cattle. We're still good provision wise. Um, yeah, we've got a fair amount of resources. And, you know, again, this is uh, where I wonder whether the AI is making the absolute best move here. Um, but I guess you can't argue with uh, six more victory points. That's not bad. Although it does come at a very heavy cost, which is the, uh, the loss of one of the crew, which makes raiding a tricky proposition <laughs> at best here. So um, the, uh, the raid here... Um, obviously, Bjorn is going for the victory points from the, the actual rating. Manages to just scrape by and grab seven there. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident at this point. I've got a pretty decent lead. I've got two gold in hand. I'm just looking essentially to snag um, the next best uh, victory point uh, level. Perhaps I should have grabbed the two gold down at the, uh, at the harbor there. Um, in retrospect, but uh, 
yeah, got six more victory points. I'm feeling pretty comfy here. Um, and uh, I'm really forcing the end of the game. Um, now I'm out of provisions, unfortunately. So I'm not going to have this, the ability to, uh, to raid that last spot with the two gold, which I, in retrospect I probably should have done. Um, and then taken the, uh, the longhouse bonus and then really crushed it. But uh, as it is, it's going to be pretty tough for my opponents to, uh, to catch up uh, at, this, <laughs> at this stage. They would really, even if they had four gold, uh, it would only put them just slightly ahead of me. So um, by taking a longhouse uh, reward, uh, just take the one that's worth the most. And that gets us to 51. And uh, that's uh, not a bad score. Um, and let's see how the final uh, tally uh, looks. So we've succeeded in the mission. And uh, again, I think I probably could have done a raid on the harbor, although arguably ending the game also uh, benefited me in that sense. Um, so we're going to take a look at the final tallies here. And I ended up with 64 with all the, uh, the bonuses of cattle and all that great stuff. So anyway, I hope this uh, helped you to uh, learn more about this game and how to beat this mission in particular. And we hope you'll uh, join us here again on Legendary Tactics.